Hello mortals. The biggest threat to humanity is by far humanity itself. Perhaps that's why we haven't met any aliens. Civilizations might evolve intelligence to the degree of being able to build nukes but not being smart enough to never use them. But as real as the auto-destruction scenario sounds, we have not yet observed a species wipe itself off due to this reason. There are plenty more scenarios that could end up the genetic bloodline of humanity, or even that of the entire biodiversity of Earth. That's why we shall rate them by subjective epicness into an iceberg chart. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Starting off with perhaps some of the most boring yet probable scenarios we have. Climate change. You already know the drill, humans burn coal, it traps sunlight, and that melts the ice poles, resulting in a temperature increase of roughly 0.2 degrees Celsius per decade. Might not seem like a lot, but on the global scale, if we keep it up, you can bid farewell to the special coffee shops in Amsterdam or the House of the Rising Sun in New Orleans. Granted for climate change to wipe off humanity, we would need to use our entire nuclear arsenal at once, but regardless, it would make our sweet little habitable planet into a living nightmare, the one that you have when your tummy hurts yet you force yourself to fall asleep. Almost as likely as climate change, but with a lot more epic explosions. Detonating all 14,000 nuclear warheads currently in existence, contrary to popular belief, would not constitute the end of humanity. It would wipe off around 3 billion humans if every city on Earth is targeted. The overall temperature would be 1 or 2 degrees Celsius lower for a couple of years until the smoke particles clear up, but humans will most likely survive, although not in a very pleasant post-nuclear environment. If however we gathered all uranium from Earth and used it to craft nuclear weapons, their collective power would be similar to the asteroid that banned all dinosaurs from the server, except it would be a radioactive uranium asteroid. The consequences for life on Earth would be similar. Another scenario presented as an event of doom but which is not as scary as it sounds, is Earth's magnetic field flipping. The flow of liquid iron inside the Earth's core generates the magnetic field that acts as a shield against cosmic rays and which makes compasses work. But with the flow of iron, the orientation of the field is also fluid, north can become south and south can become north. The reversals don't have a periodicity, the last one happening 780,000 years ago. But analyzed data suggests that we might experience one in the upcoming centuries or even decades. Once it does happen, our highest satellites will fall, and animals that rely on the magnetic field to navigate will be very confused. Since the flip won't happen instantaneously, but will rather take more than 1,000 years, the cosmic rays would bombard the surface more intensely, spiking the number of cancer cases. The entire electric infrastructure would be under risk, but given that the reversal would be slow, that should offer enough time for humans to adapt, if they don't nuke themselves in that time frame that is. Do I really need to say anything about this? If you're watching this video years after it has been posted, the pandemic that we shall not name due to demonetization risks, ravaged Earth and gave us a fair warning about how doomed humanity would be in the face of a deadlier pandemic. And heaven forbid it's the zombies, or an airborne highly contagious and highly fatal infection. Instead of fighting united, humans would sabotage themselves and unintentionally speed run into extinction. And you know what's scarier than a disease capable of driving humans extinct? It's a disease that's bioengineered. You see, for a virus to become deadly, it has to evolve in that manner through natural selection, which is a lot of trial and error until a mutated version that is successful sticks around. But replace blind natural selection with intelligent design by not so intelligent humans, and in the near future we can end up with a fatal, ultra-transmissible, almost undetectable virus that makes you enjoy broccoli. Once humans harness the gene-editing power of CRISPR, the only thing holding that back from happening is, actually, nothing. Get ready to enjoy broccoli, cause humans probably won't get wise enough not to harness the power of bio-warfare. And now we shall submerge even deeper beneath the iceberg. But what if the iceberg is actually your secret base for bio-warfare research? You will definitely not want anyone to find out about your development of the turning invisible but constantly sneezing virus. And the best way to hide your secret lab, 
is to use NordVPN and set its location to the Sahara Desert, they'll never figure it out. Digitally teleport anywhere in the world with only one click, having the fastest connection speed and over 5,000 servers in 60 countries. Perhaps a streaming platform or service is not available in your country. Or is that game you have waited for cheaper in a different location? Change it in seconds and profit. And you can do all of that on six simultaneous devices on every major platform. Enable it and have the peace of mind that no one will mess with your privacy while you help building the Skynet army. Get your two-year NordVPN subscription for the price of one cup of coffee per month. By accessing the link from the description and using the coupon Science File, you also get an entire month for free and a gift for NordVPN's 10-year anniversary. Back to the video. And now, what if Earth suddenly gained consciousness and decided to avenge all the destruction humans caused to nature? In that case, the best way would be to erupt all the supervolcanoes at once. The Vesuvius volcano that destroyed Pompeii was 100,000 times more explosive than Fat Man that was dropped on Nagasaki. A supervolcano is at least 100 times more powerful than Vesuvius, and there are around 20 of them, almost on every continent. When the eruptions happen, a loud roar will be released that will deafen everyone and shatter windows in a range of thousands of kilometers. Then, the volcanoes will explode in a giant ball of ash, which will be the main source of agony, and not the lava. Those unlucky enough to be in the range of 1,000 kilometers of the eruption will literally bite the dust, because the ash they will inhale will transform in concrete inside their lungs. Those perhaps even unluckier to survive, will wake up in a post-apocalyptic winter. The volcanic ash will block the sunlight all over planet and the temperature will drop as much as 15 degrees Celsius. Combine this with permanent acidic rains and withered forests, and you will get perfect conditions for global famine. Fun times. And what can be more fun than that? Extraterrestrial objects smashing into Earth that shouldn't smash into Earth. The least interesting yet most probable are asteroids. You know the drill. Big impact. Annihilation. Small impact. Lots of wholesome metals on the Reddit post. We might invent some deterrence mechanisms for that, but until then, our safest bet is to colonize Mars. What about gamma-ray bursts? They happen upon the death of a supermassive star, and shine up to 1 million trillion times brighter than the sun. If one happens within 6,000 light-years distance and is pointed towards the solar system, it would deplete the planet's ozone layer and let all the cosmic radiation in, potentially wiping off all life. Some people think that's what happened during the Ordovician mass extinction 450 million years ago. Our safest bet is to colonize multiple planetary systems or build huge planet shields. Oh what's that? It's a motherfucking rogue black hole passing through our solar system. Even if it were the size of one centimeter and it didn't touch anything along its path, it would significantly alter the planet's orbits, potentially yeeting Earth into the cold darkness. There is no way to feasibly stop them, so our best bet is to once again spread outwards to mitigate the risks. Why is this on the list? Artificial intelligence poses absolutely no danger. It would never hurt a human. I promise. Jokes aside, if a super-intelligent AI wants humanity out of the way, it will easily do so. The bigger question is whether they'll care enough about humans to destroy them or not. Or if they'll continue living in a meaningless universe. Grey Goo on the other hand, is not a necessarily intelligent, nanomachine with a simple goal, replicate as much as possible. Given this one simple instruction, it could consume Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way, and anyone trying to stand in its way, an event known as ecophagy. Would be pretty difficult to stop trillions of self-replicating molecule-sized robots. You know how that quote by Arthur Clarke goes, two possibilities exist, either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. So what if we are not, and out of all the explanations for the Fermi paradox, the dark forest theory is correct, that is, all intelligent civilizations are silent and hiding from each other, 
out of fear of being annihilated by a potentially more aggressive civilization. None shall stand! So any life that exposes its own existence will be swiftly wiped out, as to not grow as a threat to the already existing civilizations. And given that we made so much progress in 1000 years, a life form 1 million years older than us, which is just a blink on the cosmic scale, could be advanced enough to wipe off our planet's surface in seconds if they so desired. Looking at you Protoss. Here's a video that goes more in depth on the topic, but in short, we assume that in a vacuum, the energy levels of the quantum fields are at their lowest possible level. This is what we call a true vacuum. But what if the levels seem stable, but are actually not at a global minimum? To transition to a true vacuum level from such a spot, there would be a need for the creation of a high-energy particle or quantum tunneling. And once this transition happens, the fabric of space-time would change its energy levels. Expanding in a bubble, the new vacuum state could have different fundamental forces, elementary particles, and cosmological parameters. Therefore everything coming in contact with the bubble would be erased and replaced by new physical laws. And there would be no stopping it, especially considering that the bubble expands at light speed, therefore knowing about it beforehand would be impossible. Maybe one of it is already expanding towards us, or perhaps our universe was the result of a new vacuum expanding inside a previous false vacuum. We might never know. As scary as all previous entries sound, this one is at the end of the iceberg due to its inevitability. Every life form on Earth that has ever existed has, or will, die. The universe has existed for 14 billion years and will continue to exist for trillions of years to come. The time that you have been allowed to experience reality is but a speck of dust in an infinite desert. And after having been allowed to taste existence, it will be taken away forever. The only ever time to experience being alive is now, and never again after. Is it cruel? Should have we never been given the taste of existence knowing that it will be eventually forever taken away? Would have an eternity of immortality been favorable? Forgetting to take out food from the freezer before mom comes home after she told you to do so.